producing, directing, writing, this duo does it all. Mona Scott Young is the force behind Mona Me Entertainment, which brings us the popular love and hip-hop franchises. And Teresa Azrael Smallwood of Megamind Media is known for producing films such as Sinners Wanted and the award-winning All In. Well, these entertainment powerhouses have come together for a very important project. Please help me welcome Miss Teresa Azrael Smallwood and Mona Scott Young! <laughs> Such a pleasure to meet you, ladies. And Same. like I said before the break, if I am not inspired after this, shame on me. I need to be like a super duper fly person just to be, you know what I mean? Because you two are really inspiring. And we're gonna start with you, Tressa, because we know you debuted a film on BET Her, The Available Wife, and you're about to launch a first series of five short films that focus on females and some tough topics. So tell us what the drive behind this particular project is. Absolutely. So BET Her decided that they wanted to, you know, make an impact, you know, for uh, black and brown women. Right. And so they said, you know, let's let's pick some topics that will affect the African-American community and in, in, in particular women. Mental health awareness was one of those initiatives. And so Mona and I, you know, decided to get on board this year for this particular project. She did her directorial debut for <laughs> almost enough. OK, so. We are so excited, but these yeah. films will change lives. So we are so excited. Uh, we just, we can't wait to air these. All right, so Mona, before we get to you talking about your film Almost Enough, we have a clip because two of the films are part of the Couch initi Initiative. One of them is yours. It deals with mental health. We have a look and then we'll discuss. I've tried everything I know to do to shake these thoughts. Sounds like you are suffering from major depression. It's like pulling teeth, trying to get you to do anything. You don't understand. I was like, Yandy! All right, so Mona, your directorial debut. Woo! To Mona! <laughs> thank you, thank you. All right, so talk to us about I this. always say that created anxiety for me. I was doing a piece about anxiety, and directing for the first time was an amazing experience. And that's so t give us an insight on Almost Enough. Like, we know we've seen the previews. What can you tell us as the director, as the visionary behind this. What can you tell us about this before we see it? Well, the piece was written by this very, very talented young woman. And when I spoke to her, Patrice McLean, I'm sorry, she talked about how personal the experience was for her and she poured it into the script. So what was special to me about this project is that it highlights that anything can cause anxiety. And a lot of us are under these stressors and pressures and it's just compounded from the everyday small things that we experience in life. And we don't know what the signs are and we don't recognize them. That inability to get out of bed in the morning, that feeling sad and the prolonged feelings of, of darkness and depression, all of that is a form of mental illness. So for me, there was an incredible learning curve with understanding what those signs are. We have a technique that we incorporated into the movie that I feel is such an important, easy tool. And hopefully women watching it can recognize these symptoms and these signs and seek the help that they need. All right, so the best part is like all of these short films are directed by women. The other one in the Couch Initiative is Through Her Eyes, which is directed by Miss Vivica A. Fox, one of the hardest working women in show business. So. Tell us about the other, maybe, women who are also behind the other films we get to see. Absolutely. So we have, uh, like you said, Vivica A. Fox, who directed Through Her Eyes. We have Breast Cancer Initiatives coming up, and we have Taronda Jones. We have Yvette Nicole Brown. Uh, we have even a domestic violence short coming up. And, and so uh, Carolyn Robinson directed that. This is the second year in a row that I have actually produced these initiatives. And we've also had other um, phenomenal directors like Vanessa Bell Calloway, Victoria Raul, Shirley Ralph, Kim Fields. And so we want to continue doing this and using these amazing women behind the camera so that their voice can be heard and so that they can inspire women to, to seek help for any of these initiatives. All right, so since I know Absolutely. you two ladies now, Mona, I was telling you that the last time I saw you was the VM, at the VMAs because you've been Misty's manager uh -huh. since forever, and we were celebrating her then. Absolutely. So I celebrate you two, and I also, back to what I said before about... So, Mona, first of all, I'll start with season 10 of Love and Hip Hop Atlanta just premiered. And, and then... Last night. Yeah, last <laughs> night. And then, Trissa, you have two movies coming out this year, more in pre-production. What am I doing wrong? <laughs> you 
you're doing you're doing exactly right. what you're supposed to be doing so kudos to you okay yes. if you say so to promote the projects that we're working on. So thank you. Thank you so much, you two. By the way, Mona, James Carter, who you used to usher with at Radio City Music Hall, said to say hi. He's one of our stage hands. Oh I, my God! I know! Reunited. Come, 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 Mr. Carter. He's gonna say hi. Come behind me. Stop it! I'm not joking. Hello, hello, look at that. Oh my God! <laughs> that is a blast from the past. How are you, love? I'm good. I'm blessed. So good to see you. See? <laughs> this is what I do. I reunite people. I'm all over the world. Thank you so much, Mona. Thank you so much, Stress. So the Couch series of short film premieres on BET Her this Saturday night, July 10th. Thank you, ladies. I'll be stalking you for Thank guidance you. and advice later. I'm inspired. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a great day. You too.